<laughs> Hello everyone, thanks for watching. In this episode I want to tie a classic bonefish fly called the, the pink puff and we're gonna do a little variation on this. It's a really classic bonefish fly. So let me start with what I got in the vise. I've put a uh, Daiichi 2564 in a size 6 and it's one of my favorite bonefish hooks. Uh, I use this one and I use the uh, 452, the X452. It's basically the same hook. So let me start off attaching my thread, making just a little base for the dumbbell eyes we're going to tie on. I will go to the uh, middle of my tying thread. I have about, uh, I would say, five, four or five millimeter on here. I could like to tie them with uh, really small lead eyes. So what I'll do, I'll take a little bit of super glue. Put it on there. to hold the double eyes down, put them on top. It's very important that uh, you'll tie your eyes in so that they're straight, so they're aligned, okay? Put your fly, when it moves through the water, it moves in a straight line. A couple wraps. Just from the side, I'll check fingers I can adjust the eye so they're perfectly on top. There you go. If you don't know what the best way is to attach your dumbbell eyes, we actually have a video on that. Watch that first. I'll make wraps underneath the dumbbell eyes. We'll create a little base. We'll, uh, securely hold down the eyes. Once I've done this, I'll take again a little bit of Zappa Gap, super glue. Put it on the bottom, on the top. Let's cover it with super glue to make. The eyes stay right there. And we'll take some uh, calf tail. Already prepared a little piece. The, the important thing is not to use a lot of hair. I would suggest that you take half of what you think you need. That's usually more than enough. Get away. There was a little bit of under fur in here rid of that. Okay. Measure it. Just trim up my scissors so that the, uh, the butt ends are straight. Tie them in on top. Make sure it's in the middle of the hook. Pull down on it. Now, once I've done that, I'll trim those butt ends a little bit. And again, a little bit of super glue. Right. Now you don't have to do this, but you could add some. Uh, few strands of uh, crystal flash in the hair. I don't. And then the next step is to take two uh, 
very small bristly hackle tips and I found out that the uh, Whiting 4B which stands for bigger better bargain birds very cost affordable uh, capes these are just perfect for this not too expensive and uh, the shape of the feathers is just perfect for this fly check the length make sure it's about the same length I'll take the other one get rid of the fluffy stuff on the underside here. I've adjusted the length, I have two identical tips. I'll take the first one on my own side, climb in on the side of the uh, wing, More wraps. I'll take the other one, put my vise, climb in on the, uh, the other side. My hand's getting in the way here. Fly that in. Get rid of the uh, stems. Now for the final part. Um, this is the reason why I don't uh, use any crystal flash in my wing. So I, uh, I like to use this uh, speckled chenille, the pearl fleur pink variety, I'll use that for the head, it actually has some flash in there, so what I do is I strip off just a little bit, tie it in, okay, so now for the final stage, what I do is I'll lift the wing and the heckle tips and what I'll do is I'll give it a wrap underneath. What this does, it will make the whole wing stand up. That's what I want. Just the position just a little bit. I'll make a uh, figure eight wrap. Right on top, right in front, tie it off. I've turned around the vise for you guys so you can uh, see what I mean with just one wrap of uh, chenille under the wing and it will make the wing stand up. And it does two things, it uh, makes it look like the shrimp is standing up in a defensive position like this at an angle and it also creates a little weed guard uh, with the calf tail just protecting your uh, hook point and actually when the fish takes it's really easy, it'll just come down and uh, It'll just hook perfectly. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please, if you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe. And check us out next time.